Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte, and I know you guys seen the thumbnail. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys a new car for the channel. It's also going to be sort of my daily. I, mean, I think it's really going to be my daily, but I'm also going to be doing a few mods on this that you guys may be interested in, all right? So I'm looking at the car right now, and um, I actually have had this car before. So if you watch my video about how many cars I've owned, then you might know what this is, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what I got. Um, I like it so far. I've driven it. I've had it for about a week and um, I like it so far. So let's go ahead and let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what I got. everyone so you just saw those clips right there so what is it 2016 bmw 535i with the m sport package it also has the led headlights on it which look really good with the led fogs so man the car looks good it was in very good condition it was a one owner car locally to the charlotte area um all the service records there was seven pages of service records that was done at the dealership um and i got a really really good deal on it so I had been looking for a car. I really didn't know what I wanted. I was looking at like Audi S5s. I was looking at GTIs. I was looking at all kinds of stuff just to have another car to take some miles off the M5. And also it's just convenient, um, especially now with the wrap on the M5. I didn't want to drive everywhere. You know, I drive a lot. So people be dinging. I see people ding cars and stuff all the day, all the time. So I didn't want to drive the M5 everywhere that I had to go. So um, picking up another car was essential. I um, mean, a lot of you guys didn't know, because I didn't ever do a video on it, I had another car already. I had a, a E70 X5 that went through trauma. <laughs> um, it ended up getting totaled out, ended up getting flooded um, due to the sunroof um, drains getting clogged. And when it rained, it rained a lot and um, it flooded the inside of the vehicle. So it was a total loss. So once I lost that vehicle, I knew I had to get something else. So I ended up picking up this. I used to have an F10 535. Um, I only had it for like four months, um, ended up getting uh, in a wreck and I had to get rid of it because of the wreck. So, um, so yeah, man. So this is going to be the new daily. I'm also going to be doing some, some mods on this as well. So some, something slight, I'm not going to be doing nothing too crazy because uh, I want this to be as reliable as possible. So I haven't decided if I'm going to do any power mods, probably not. Just going to do like some um, Apple CarPlay upgrades, some simple stuff, maybe some cosmetic stuff and leave it at that. You know, I don't want to go too crazy with this car, but um, I do like it. I do like the way it looks. And uh, let's go ahead and go over some of the features on this car. All right. So as I stated before, this car does have the uh, M Sport package. So you know that by the front fascia. Front fascia is a little more aggressive in the front. Um, and it looks good. It looks really good in the front. And then this one also has the adaptive LEDs and the 2016 and up, they got the LED fogs as well. So this car is equipped with that. You also, uh, this got like the M Sport wheels that comes on the F10, which looks really good. This is a rear wheel drive model. No need for all wheel drive here in North Carolina. So uh, rear wheel drive is fine with me. Um, this is black sapphire metallic. It isn't carbon black. It does look like it. At first I thought it was carbon black, but it's black sapphire metallic. It is black. It's not the carbon black. Those that know about carbon black, it had like a little hint of blue in it, but this is black. This is black sapphire. So um, 
everything looks good back here has the regular diffuser there um which looks decent this car does have the n55 engine in it um and i plan on doing a few things with that as well i just probably just gonna do um if you guys may have seen keys's video um they did a bunch of mods on blase's uh f10 535 and they did the mst um, intake relocation intake so i probably will do that as well like i said i don't, I don't want to add too many crazy mods to this car but i think i will do an intake um probably like the only power mod if if you want to call that a power mod to this car like i said i want to keep this is this as reliable as possible um the car does have front ppf on it and also side ppf not sure if you guys can see that you can kind of see the line like right here so there's a front ppf um on it so these little marks down here you guys may see like right here um that's all in the ppf so they told me that they're not going to take the ppf off but it's up to me if i want to take it off and get it redone or not um i'm not sure you know like i said i'm not this car is not going to be that serious to me so i'm not sure if i want to go through all that just to kind of um take that ppf off i may just leave it on you know i don't know i haven't decided yet you guys let me know what i should do down below i don't know about re re ppf in this car i know i'm not doing that because this isn't going to be that serious of a car for me so let's go ahead and see what the inside looks like all right so inside the car here um it's just black it has the regular comfort seats um the f10 535 my other one had like the uh they were like special sport m sport seats i think they were kind of because you can tell because they had like a little um adjust head head uh rest adjustment up here and then also actually the thigh extender these are just the regular comfort seats which these seats feel great already so i was okay with that um it does have this brush like dark like i don't, I don't know it's like a brush dark wood right here uh wood grain um it looks looks but it fits the car it fits nice i mean this car is more of like comfort it's not like a super sporty it's like a I don't know it's kind of like a comfort sports sedan i don't know i don't know what they, what classification this is but i know it competes with like an audi a6 the lexus gs 350 f sport stuff like that so it does have the m sport um steering wheels you guys see right there um and it does have the i drive i think this is like i drive six maybe five maybe i drive five but i will be doing like a full screen mmi prime upgrade to this unit so i can get apple carplay in it because it does not come with apple carplay as it sits but um, there's a lot of room in here. It does have a sunroof. I've kind of missed the sunroof because my last two cars did not have sunroofs. And I kind of forgot how much I like sunroofs. So um, it is nice to have a sunroof in this. But um, yeah, I mean, inside the car is pretty cozy. It's just black, nothing, nothing too crazy. It does have the ZF eight speed transmission, uh, which is a great transmission, it has Sport, Sport Plus. Um, it does also have the parking, um, executive i think what was it parking parking plus package so you get the 360 camera and everything like that uh, for this generation so the car was really really clean this car had a hundred and three thousand miles on it and as you guys can see the interior it looks really really good for a car that has a hundred and three thousand miles on it the owner really took care of it and um you know the car is in really good condition all right guys so that is going to be the new daily the new car for the channel like I said, we'll be doing some few mods on it, but let me know down below what you guys want to see me mod on this car, all right? Give me some recommendations. Um, I want to see what you guys think, all right? So this is a 2016 F10 535 with the N55 engine. This is the last year of the N55 before they switched to the B58, all right? So what you guys think about it, man? What you guys think about the new daily, the new car for the channel? Um, let me know down below. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.